Game time decisions has begun. I am Gabriel Moretz, and I'm on the grid, Sirius XM Channel 159. Shout out to all of our television affiliates. Let's do this thing. The golf talk with Dubsy a little bit later on, the uh, final dance before the Masters uh, next week. And uh, Mick Aussie will join us with some AFL uh, picks. And I'll tell you what, AFL got funky uh, last week. It happened. It's, it started already. Upsets, upsets, upsets. Doing this thing. Uh, we got a full house. Coach Young's going to join us. Cousin Sal kicks it. Uh, street clothes, Sharapan. Uh, straight from the strip in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, Dubsy talks a little golf. Mick Aussie. It's the Australian Power Hour. A little bit uh, later on, although we're splitting them up. It was too much. Uh, it was too much at yeah. once. Too too much. Yeah, it's like too, too much. Too much, uh, Aussie, yeah. too much Vegemite on top of the hot dog. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. In game live, all access. Uh, Australian Power Hours. Gabe likes to say we're going to bring our boy Mick Aussie. To talk a little AFL football, as Marenzi was telling me earlier in the show, upsets, upsets, upsets galore. That's why the money lines and the spreads don't correlate in this sport. You can either make some money, Marenzi, or you can get slammed in this stuff. Sometimes it's too good to be true. That's the feeling I'm getting. One thing, and I brought this up last week, and I cashed in, and uh, let's bring uh, Mick Aussie in right now. Mick, another thing is, too, I suggest to people as far as an AFL tip. Yeah, and We talked about it in round one, in week one, guys. Remember, Dave, we talked about the fact that big point spreads don't correlate with the money line, and there's a reason for it, right? It's it's a strange dichotomy that, I don't know, I like to speak to the guys that make the numbers for this sport. It's a strange dichotomy. But another thing is, Mick, in the AFL, no lead is necessarily safe either, especially early leads, Ken. Like, we talk about it like in the NHL and stuff. Mick, you see it all the time. Like, I hit with your Adelaide last week at plus 16 and a half. I was talking about her two weeks ago. I jumped in on a team. It doesn't always work, but more often than not, like I'm just saying guys in the AFL, like someone could be winning 28 to six or something like that. You're not screwed. And it's a great time can mm-hmm. to jump in. You look at the dog. You're like, man, they're getting plus 17 and a half right now. Yeah. And boom, they'll I go like on that. a run. It's a big game of streaks. Isn't it? Mick one team will score three, four times in a row. And any other team will score three, four times in a row. Yeah, absolutely. It's a fast-running game. It used to be better, and the officials are trying to change the rules, but unfortunately, some of these coaches are outsmarting the bosses, and they have this stand rule, but now they're standing back. But some of these teams, the new coaches, I love it because they're taking the game on. And you see, last week, the Crows went back to terrible stop-start football, yet last night, they took the game on, and we beat the Port Adelaide Pap Smears in the kick after the siren. And he bent it like Beckham. You should have seen it. A fade on the golf stick. It was incredible. Nothing like a win (laughs) after the siren, especially against the arch rivals, those Port Adelaide Power Pap Smears guys. And these loser NFL kickers can't even kick an extra point. These guys yeah. are kicking and uh, field yeah. goals on the fly yeah. from 50 yards. Yeah, exactly. And, and fading the ball, as he said, like in golf. I, I know. Guys are amazing amazing stuff, too. Come on. It's nuts. Like, yes. yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Come on. All right. So uh, let's get into it. Great Western Sydney and Gold Coast. Great Western Sydney, minus 178. Who do you like? Oh, very good game, this one. I do like the Giants, and so does my mate in Boston, Mike the Can Man. But my other American mate, Yank on the footy, he likes the Suns to win. And he follows it very closely. Because it's at home in Greater Western Sydney, I'm going for the home team. But do not be surprised if the Suns keep it very close and maybe even an upset. So I like to take the GWS on the money line and put a bit of money on the Suns at plus 10.5. And then you might win both bets. So very interesting, close game. And Cam, you would love this Matty Rao, the Suns champ. He's a new fella, been around a couple of years. He's a redhead. He's an absolute star, Matty Rao. <laughs> What's his name? Matty Round? Matty Rao. Rao. Oh, what a W E R O L. Okay. Oh, I thought it was Round. I was like, Round's even better. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing tops uh, the all time great Eddie Betts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eddie, Eddie Betts. Betts. <laughs> Eddie Betts. Eddie best Betts. name ever. Great. Eddie Betts. Oh, great. He retired. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, Collingwood and the Cats. Collingwood and uh, Geelong, the Geelong here. Uh, minus 190 for the Cats. What's your take on this? We should note, too, Great Western Sydney haven't won yet. They're 0-2, looking for their first win. They should get it tonight. Uh, what do you think of Collingwood and uh, and the Cats here, Mick? 
Yeah, another ripper of a game in Melbourne. There'll be a big crowd. Uh, the Cats, well, they got beaten last week up there in Sydney with Buddy Franklin's thousandth goal. And your mate Pat McAfee, he even talked about it. So that was cool. We're getting the word out. Cats should come back. Collie Wobbles are 2-0, oh, but they haven't really played anyone decent. If the Collie Wobble Magpies run the ball and take the game on, they might get over. But take the Cats. They're older. Their experience could be close, but I like the Cats on the money line in this game. Should be a beauty, though. That's the one that I lost last week, taking them. I thought they were going to come back, and they did it. And they just kept on getting smashed. But I did hit the over in-game. I've been good with the in-game totals, actually, so far this year. Um, they're minus 11 and a half, so to put it in context. And they're only like minus 180 on the money line. So uh, I think the Cats are going to uh, – the Cats get it done there as well, Mick. All right, what about uh, what about the Roos and the Lions? Brisbane Lions and the North Melbourne Roos. Who you got? Oh, my God. You know what, guys? You might see the spread is uh, 44 and a half. Don't be oh. scared of that. There you go, 43 yeah. and a half. Don't <laughs> be scared of that. The North yeah. Melbourne Kangaroos, they only just beat a second team from the Eagles with everyone out with COVID. The Lions are looking good. Lucky Neil, the champ from two years ago, he won the top medal from South Australia. He's on fire. I actually like the Lions to maybe even cover that big spread. Seven sixes of 42, so they win by just over seven goals. They can win this by 10 to 15 goals. The money line won't pay nothing. Take the Lions on the minus if you want to. Bit risky, I think they will destroy the Kangaroos. No, I like it. I like it. I think they smash them as well. You can't always think, oh, he's going to hang around. No, I think they, they smash them. It's like what we talked about. So they're a 44 and a half point favorite and the money line's under like 14 by 30. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's nuts. What would that money line be? You're a, a gonna, You're going to put it in money line point parlays? Point. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm just Sal, saying, Sal would like this one. Yeah, Sal, Sal's a big fan of this game, for sure. He's like, Sal, yeah, yeah, Sal was on the line. Listen, Sal, we got an <laughs> AFL game for you. They're minus 44 and a half. The first thing you'd say, what's the money line? Yeah. Minus <laughs> 1,400. That's amazing. Not that bad. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's something to build off of. All right. Is that the biggest um, spread well, of the week? That's the biggest spread I've seen yes. yet. Now doing this with, I mean, yeah. that's a gig yes. It seems gigantic. Yep. It's big. Yeah, it's, it's not. Well, look, next week, Sydney's laying 38 and a half against North Melbourne in advanced numbers. Okay. Adva advanced look ahead, but it's rare. It's rare. Like, uh, okay. So Mick, who, who do you got here? Hawks or the, uh, the blues Carlton blues Blue. or Hawthorne Hawks. Yes, could be the game of round three. Cam, you'll be happy with this. Your Hawks are 2 and 0. They were picked to come near the bottom and they caused the biggest upset last week. And I know Gabe took the power, Pat Smears, on a money line. Hawks destroyed yeah. the power in yeah, Adelaide thanks, by over 10 goals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to insult you. You know what? I do remember one thing from a lot of I had a $200 ago. parlay on that. Thanks. I, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Carlton and Hawthorne don't like each other. I remember like watching Australian rules when I was younger. These teams, there's, I don't know, back in the day, they used to friggin' hate each other. I uh, take the points with Hawthorne, right? Right? Yeah, they could win it. They really could. The Blues have got a new coach, both new coaches, Mick Shul and Voss, two ex star players are off to 2 and 0 starts. Good on them. Oh, I like the Carlton Blues to probably get it done. But again, another one. Take the Blues on the money line and maybe put a little bit on the Hawks to cover and then you might win both. Should be a good game. The Blues have been disappointing over the years. Lots of draft picks, but two very famous, successful clubs from Melbourne. Big crowd again at this one in Melbourne. Should be a really good game. Blues, I think, just though. Look at this game, guys. I think the over. I think the over. You look at Hawthorne. They've scored 198 points in their two matches, man. That's a, they're, they're averaging 99 points a game, right? 99 problems. Scoring ain't one of them. Uh, they've given up 114 points, but you look at Carlton, Mick, they put up 203 points in their two matches. Both these teams have really gotten after it and oh, put eight. points up on the board, Mick. Yeah. Uh, and I've noticed. I've been. It seems that the league's a little higher scoring right now. 
What's the total here? 166 and a half or so? Um, I, what do you think of the total of this game, Mick? I'm, I'm going to bet the over. I like this one. I'm going over the number here. Yeah, I think you could be right. The Blues have taken the game on. They got a great full forward. The Hawks kicked 13 goals straight last week against the Port Adelaide Power. So they're okay as well. Oh, the under-overs, look at the weather. The weather looks okay. So, yes, if it's a fast-running game, it could go over. Week one, I think it was seven and two on the overs. And then week two, it was like five and four. So the overs have been cashing just. So be a bit careful. Look at the weather. And uh, if the game, if they run, run, run and take the game on, which these two teams are, I do like overs. All right, and finally, we've got uh, Richmond and St. Kilda. Both squads are one in one coming into the round three matchup. Well, another good game. I do like the Tigers. Neil Baum, one of their bosses that I know from Adelaide, he coached over there when I was playing. He says they have great depth. And as you know, Gabe, they won three out of four premierships. So some of their young kids are getting a chance and doing well. Saints have got the big Paddy Ryder Ruckman back in. That's a bonus. They got King at full forward. I like the Tigers, but big news. You know this guy, the tattooed man, the star, Dusty Martin. He is off. His dad passed away a month or two ago, and his dad kind of got kicked out of Australia and had to go back to New Zealand. So I wish Dusty Martin all the best. He's an absolute star. He got hit. Hitting the kidney last year, and lost yeah. some weight, but hope he comes back. I like the Tigers. Sounds like this guy's had a rough ride. <laughs> Let's give Dusty a break. Yeah, he's here. a star. Come on. He's a star, though, as you know. <laughs> well, Dusty's probably in a bar right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right. Don't hit me in the groin. I don't know. If your name's Dusty, it seems like you're just destined for a hard life. Thanks, Mick. <laughs>